All right, good morning. Um, this first one is getting ready to have some fall foliage coming soon. This is Aronia low scape mound. Um, beautiful crop, very uniform. Um, uh, the low growing, um, the red fall foliage will be coming up um, prob probably starting mid-September to uh, third week in September. So we have that to look forward to. And we have 2,500 available. Zelia Karen, I just wanted to remind everybody how nice these look. Um, there's 2,000 right now, and there will be more quite shortly as soon as I have time to roll them. Um, great looking crop, you know, nice, heavy, heavy 18 inch plants loaded with buds for next spring, and they'll be ready to go. So, yeah, note on that, uh, Ken uh, is uh, in the middle of shifting those right now. So, uh, this year, the, the growers did a fantastic job with the 19 centimeters. So, we, we take a 19 centimeter, put it in a three. So, like when they're coming out of the barn, I feel like I could just put them on a truck, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a repeat uh, next year, no problemo. The next crop that we can this summer of 19 centimeters, they performed extremely well. You're always a little nervous when you get real hot summers, but the growers did a great job with shade and stuff. So looks like uh, we're baked for several years, and we'll keep her going. All right, Betula Nigra, um, great looking crop. That code has been changed to 60 inch. Um, I forgot to change it on the spreadsheet, but it is, it is 60 <laughs> inch in the system. Um, there is a thousand available. They look great, super nice plants, full to the bottom, ready to go. So it'd be nice to see some more on some trucks. Yeah, hey, Cheryl, that. That Same picture price, no no change in price. It's just we change the description. So. That picture helped me book 105 of them yesterday. So thank you. Uh, Woo! That is a win. You should have mentioned that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping somebody would sing. Tell them, sure. <laughs> All right. All right. Fruit trees. I know there's been quite a few questions on that. Um, they all look, all the apple trees look the same. So I mean, we've got like 15 different varieties. So just when you when you talk about them, they're they're all very uniform, um, whatever the varieties are. If there's something that looks different, I'll take a picture of. But I mean, you can see down the rows there, both sides, they're all very uniform and the body-wise are the same. Um, they, they look great. Um, there's plenty of to pick from. Um, on the right-hand side, there's... a uh, Put a sample of the peach trees. Those again, there's a quite a few varieties. They all look about the same. Um, look great, ready to go. Um, and if you go back to the left, I put some notes on the bottom underneath the picture. Scroll down. There you go. Um, they are not dwarf trees. They are grafted on the semi-dwarf understock. Okay. Um, but there's a nice, nice variety for everyone and they look very similar. So hopefully that will help you put some fruit trees on the trucks. Yeah, we use, uh, we use fruit trees that have more modern rootstock. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is the, I don't know how detailed people get, but they're mostly on Geneva and I think it's Brosclavonia, something like that. So that, that's a Russian one, right? And Geneva is, you know, kind of a, Switzerland, Northern European type. So um, that's uh, what we're using. The, you know, you used to do, most fruit trees used to be grafted on mullings, you know, and mullings had mullings one through mullings 200. I don't know, it was all over the place. Um, the only time you ever use those anymore is when you really want dwarf. We choose not to do full dwarfs because the root systems are so terrible. So, Semi-dwarfs even have a little bit of problem rooting really well in the pot, but the dwarfs will never root in a pot, right? You'll be able to practically pull that thing out bare root two years later because the root system is stunning the top and it's a very slow grower, stunny roots. So we, we prefer not to do that. So that's why we do it. Anyways, grass. All right, grass, we have a collage of grass. 
Uh, you should be able to scroll up on that one. There should be another row of them. Oh, or down, okay. All right, so Shenandoah on the left, uh, we have 1,900 available. You can you can see the seed heads on. They look gorgeous right now. Um, seed heads are starting to turn a little bit darker, so they'll start showing a little bit more as, as it goes on. Um, the middle one is Carl Forrester. Um, beautiful crop. Um, look great. Very little rust in there. Um, they look nice, full, dark green. Um, 2,000 plus available on those. Um, on the right, grass redhead, you got 400 of those. The seed heads look great. They're starting with the dark color plumes in there. Um, those will be hanging out uh, for at least another couple of weeks in there with that, that dark color. So, and then go back up. All right, you got hamlins. They have beautiful plumes all over the place. Nice full plants. 2,500 of those look just like that, okay? Um, our new one, grass jambalaya, uh, 500 of those. The plumes are dark. That plant is really tall. It, it, it's probably 24, a little 24, 26 inches tall. And then the plumes stick out above that. So they, they look great. Um, grass zebra, little zebra. Um, a lot of bright colors in there. Um, nice full plants ready to go. And I think if you go to your right, there should be a few more, or at least one more. All right, so you got variegated, um, 500 of those. Really nice plant, great variegation. Um, look great in somebody's landscape right now. So that should be it. All right, hydrangea firelight. Um, there's last week, and I put pictures in there, the buds were just out a little bit. Now, this is yesterday, the buds are out just a little bit more. Um, I know there's a salesman watching these. Um, he has an order going out, uh, but this is this is what their picture is uh, as of yesterday. So they look great. Um, there's a whole house of them there to pick from. Um, everything looks good. All right, Jennifer Hetside Glocka. Uh, we have some five gallons here. Uh, I put them in the current bucket a couple days ago. Um, they are almost 24 inches across. Nice, super nice plants. They're, they're about 18 inches tall to give you an idea with how big they are. Um, but they look great, great color. Um, good for landscapes. All right, this spirea still looks really, really good. Um, this is Big Bang. There's not a lot of buds on there because we're past that point. Um, but the new foliage on there looks great. Um, nice and clean, no spots, they look great. 1,500 of those. Texas Everlow. We were a little low with these this spring, um, but we have plenty of these coming on. Um, this is actually the 24 crop and they made up really nice. Um, so I have 250 of those in current. And they're, they're 18 wide. There's a ruler there on the bottom. There you go. Actually a little bit, a little bit wider than 18 with the feathers. Okay. Fuji Green Giants, drum roll. I rolled 400 of these yesterday. So they are at a 54 inch size, uh, the 15 gallon pot, no fighting over them. Um, and just so you know, I also was able to roll some five gallons at the 42 inch size. Um, so those are out there also, there's 500 of those. Yeah, we'll just, we just wanna kind of be cautious on it. Um, but really rather get back into the 60s, right? So we're just we're just going to kind of roll them as we need them. We can put more on, but um, like we talked about in our meetings yesterday, we'll just look at them every week. And it, as soon as we get there, we start offering a 60. Uh, we'll just switch the whole thing to 60s. But uh, uh, Cheryl will watch that real close. And uh, if it looks like we book out, we'll, we'll go ahead and put a few more on. Okay, the Fuji Smart Guard, I just want to show them again how nice they are. Um, they're a 60 inch code. Um, I believe that that one's like 66, I can't see the number. Um, but the nice full plants to the bottom, they look great. Um, the gaps, they're ready, they're ready to go and there's 2000 of these available. All right, a little bit different animal. This is the Fuji Tater Tot that everybody's been ooing and ahhing over and uh, we finally built our numbers up. 
Uh, we've got 2,000 of these available right now, and they all look like that. So it's a great little plant, nice dwarf, slow growing, um, great for little rock gardens and things like that, small places.